Hello and welcome back to the farm. We are now in May and I thought that it was probably a good idea to change it to something a little bit more appropriate to the current time of year. Just give me a quick second here. Oh yeah, <laughs> that'll go right with. You know what? I don't care. We're, we're gonna go with it. <laughs> but anyways, welcome back to the farm. I can never get out of my own door. We're in May and our oats have grown. Very, very nice. It doesn't look like we have any weeds to worry about, so that is very nice indeed. Let us take a quick look. Uh, yeah, so in the last episode in April, we seeded the oats, so we don't really have anything to do in May, I don't think, unless there's some things that we need to sell. Uh, but no, it does not seem like it. We are still waiting for the soybeans. And in regards to the letters, I'm pretty sure that is yet yeah, in January, so that'll be some time before then. But we can do something though, because in between episodes, well, we can first of all check the used machinery market. Let's see what we got. Uh, front loader. That's a good deal if we needed a front loader, which we unfortunately don't. We got a mower, we got a forage harvester, and we got a header for probably, yeah. As you could be now, so yeah, we don't really need any of this stuff. But in between episodes, I did head into the cedar category of uh, the mods, and I found two mods. These are the same mods right here, but these are direct drills, and they're not very expensive, nor do they require that much horsepower. Now, these two also have space for fertilizer, but of course, we don't need to use it. In fact, we will definitely not be using that. Um, so I am thinking that we should probably sell our current cedar, where we could get probably around 18, 18k, and then we can use that money to buy one of these two. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which ones we should go for. Both of these are direct drills. This has a working width of six meters, and this has a working meter of three, and this one four. This one again six, but this one requires 160 horsepower, and I don't think. Well, it's possible our tractor could run it. It is quite possible. Um, but yeah, I think that is what we will be doing just today and then we will skip to the next month. Um, but yeah, I, th I think it'll be worth it. I think it'll be worth it. Worth it. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's going to take ages for us to be able to get any of the equipment that we want to get. And yep, yeah, we're going to reverse all the way over here. I wasn't planning on selling the cedar until I saw those mods. <laughs> if you guys have, by the way, any suggestions for any mods you think I should install and play with, do let me know down below in the comments, uh, because there really are a lot to keep an eye out for. So I unload that, and let's head on over to the shop with this thing. It has been used quite a lot on the farm, it's been good to use it, but it's time that we move on and do a little bit of upgrading. All right, here we are at the store. Hit the brakes, turn off the engine, and detach, and let's go ahead. So we can repair it. If we repair it and repaint it, uh, we will get extra money for it. So 25,000 right there. Not too bad. And I just remembered as well that we bought this field in the last episode with barley. And okay. Next month, we get to harvest our brand new field, field 48. Um, so yeah, we now have 82,000 in total. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cedars again. Um, we have 125 horsepower. It is possible that we could run this, but I think it is safer to go with something like this one. I could, of course, wait until I actually... Actually... Yeah, I probably should wait with buying it until I actually need it, because it will be a while before we have to worry about seeding again. Especially because it's a direct drill, we don't need to worry about constantly cultivating, because we, well, direct drill it. So, yeah, I don't even think I'm gonna buy it right now. I think we're gonna head back to the farm, get some sleep, and then we're gonna be harvesting the brand new field that we have, field 48. And I also need to consider whether or not we want to chop the straw, or if we want to potentially make straw bales. I will be thinking of that on the way. All right, we're back. I just want to check the price for, well, straw, because I don't know if it will be worth it. Highest price is 84, so about $80 per 
a thousand liters, I believe, and yeah, I don't. What would that be? Even if we got ten thousand liter bales, it would be eight thousand dollars, which could go towards fertilizing the field instead. I don't think I'm gonna make because also then I would need to probably well I would need to lease a baler wherever that is balers yep. So I would need to get something like this if I want round bales if I want square bales. I would need something like this which we can't even pull. <laughs> so round bales it would have to be. Uh, I would need to lease something like this. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be worth it for us at the moment. Do let me know what you think down below in the comments, though. But for now, let us head to bed. And I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Ooh, rain. Nice. All right. Brand new morning in June. And I do not remember whether or not the soybeans was good in June or July. No, it is June. And in fact, we could get it at a great price. Okay, that's for the train, however. That is for the train. So the best place right now is Feed and Grain South, which also sounds like a train, if you ask me. Uh, if we tag it real quick and zoom out. Uh, where do we have it? Oh, no. That's right here. That is not the train. In that case, we will get right into the trailer and sell our soybeans. I was not expecting to do that today. <laughs> but here we are. Uh, where have I left my trailer is the question. Where have I left my trailer? Something tells me I have left it in the barn. Yep, I can actually see it through the windows. I have. <laughs> back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, I probably don't need to make sounds. Uh, the beeping is only for trucks and whatnot, right? Anyway, <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, let's let's just get to selling. I would love to get the uh, the harvester going before we do this, but the price is decreasing, so I want to get it while we can. So soybeans. There we go. Nice. All right. I'll see you over there. Also, I should say that I do want to sell it by the train, but that won't be worth it until... Uh, well, currently, I think it costs like a thousand dollars to release the train, and we would... I think we would make this, that back with this load, but not by a whole lot. So, until it can really pay off to use the train, I probably won't do it, but in the future we definitely will, however. All right. Let's sell it. And watch the money go up. Let's see how much we actually get. Nice. 12,367. Not bad at all. That's pretty good. We have over $100,000 now. That's pretty good. We do, however, still need to consider the $200,000 loan that we still have in the bank that I really want to start paying off. And I think we're going to be able to very soon do that. I think maybe a rule is going to be whenever we hit like 100k, like we have now, we pay off 20,000. Because then, in a very short amount of time, hopefully, we will have the loan paid off. So I think we're probably going to do that. Because the more of the loan that we have, the more it's going to keep taking off us because of interest. So also I gotta remember we're harvesting field 48. So I will need the trailer in fact. I don't know how much we're gonna make off of field 48. Like in terms of quantity. But I think I'm going to leave the tractor right here somewhere. Yeah, this looks good. All right. Cool. Uh, so, if we head into the bank, as you can see, we have a $200,000 loan. So if we repay some of that now, uh, we could do half of 100k. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do... There we go. Nice. So we have reduced our loan to 150 
thousand dollars, which is a huge improvement. Okay, we have a lot of letters. That is good. All right, let's head into the combine house and let's make sure that actually the field is ready to be harvested. <laughs> yep, ready to harvest. Turn on the engine. Raise this. I can't see behind me, so hope I'm not hitting anything or anyone. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna be interesting to see if I can get around with this massive header. It shouldn't be too big of an issue though. We're good so far. Yep. Oops, wrong button. Nice. And I believe we can turn off the minimap now. Alright, let's make sure everything is set. Uh, do not enable straw swath. Lower header. Turn on. Yep. We're good. Let's get to harvesting. And yeah, we upgraded the header in the last episode, and I think... Yeah, it's like double the size now. Which is really, really good. Nice. We're going to have this field harvested in absolutely no time, I think. It looks bigger on the map, but with this header, it honestly doesn't seem that big. And also, I am curious. We take a look at the fertilized. No, it does. Well, it does some of the field because the header is so big now. Um, the chopped straw doesn't uh, fit to the entire place that we have actually cut. So that is something to take into consideration. Maybe very soon doing bales is actually going to be more worth it for us. Not sure. Again, let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comments. But we're filling up the combine pretty fast as well, actually. We're already at 30%. So that's not too bad. I'm gonna continue here, and uh, I'll be back when the harvester is full. <laughs> Alright, we are full. Yeah, I definitely want to buy this field as well, and then I think I would just combine them to make one big field. I think that would probably be the best thing to do in our case. Um, but yeah, that is obviously for when we have the money for it. Which we kind of just had, but I paid back our loan. <laughs> but no matter. Uh, where is Ogre? That is Ogre? Ogre? I guess. Hmm. I'm not sure what you call it. Ogre? Ogre? Ogre. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure on that. <laughs> but, so far, the harvester has become full at least once. And we've done a little bit less than half the field, I'd say. So, this is not going to be too bad of a harvest. But yeah, I will be considering doing bales now that the, the chop straw doesn't last as long like it doesn't fit these areas eh, it fits an okay big area so I guess it is still worth it I'm not sure I'll have to see when the entire field is done though speaking of which let me finish this field and I'll be right back
And the final piece. This has been a really good harvest, actually. I think we have gotten... I just put 9,400 liters in the silo. So that will be 9,400 plus the 1,600-ish that we have here. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Actually, I didn't even need to take the tractor with me over here because I can just unload in the silo itself. But let's see if we take a look at the map. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. I don't know when the right time is to sell barley, but it's definitely not yet, I don't think. Now, my question is, will this header be able to fit in the garage? I highly doubt it. Yeah, that definitely does not fit. I really, really <laughs> need a shirt for this. Um, hmm. Yeah, well, I guess right here we'll have to do... We will be harvesting the oats next, I think. So, a little bit of creative parking required. It is our land, so... There we go. Oh, wait. I forgot I had to unload. There we go. And it appears the best price for barley is in December, so not too far away, actually. Not too far away now. Right now I can pack up and I can bring the tractor back home as well. All of this equipment we will be needing very soon, so I'm gonna leave it right here. Now, I am wondering if there's anything we can put in already now. I would of course love to get uh, oilseed radish in, um, which of course I believe, can our weeder do that? Hold on. Am I remembering completely wrong, or am I remembering completely right? I'm remembering correctly. It can put in oilseed radish. Okay, but that does require, unfortunately, for the game to allow us anyway, some sort of cultivating. And I was unfortunately not able to find any shallow cultivators or on mud hubs, so... Yeah. 250 horsepower is a lot. I could skip the sugar beet, not the sugar beet, the oilseed radish, but that would affect our yield. Um, I would need a shallow cultivator like this, but that's oh, that's expensive. Not to mention the horsepower requirement. I would need something beefy like, yeah, something like this, which I definitely don't have the money for. So I had to look through Mudhub again, and the only ones that I could really find are these right here. These are shallow cultivators, but there's one thing that I that makes me want to not use these, and that is the price, for this series anyway. And that's the price, because for 9,000 I could get this one right here, 8 working meters, 120 horsepower, and it's a shallow cultivator. The in-game, very first shallow cultivator we could get is this one, six working meters, 250 horsepower, at 51,000. So I don't know if this would be a bit too cheating, quote unquote. So I don't know what you guys think. <laughs> I mean, when you look at it like this, if we go to Light Harrow, it doesn't look that expensive. How much is to lease? 484. All right. This is the biggest one, 120 horsepower. I'm going to lease it for today. Let me know if you guys think that we should buy this down below in the comments. I chose Light Harrow because other ones, well, there's wheels and yeah. So yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comments, but it is time to do some shallow cultivating. But yeah, I don't know if I want to buy it because I don't want it to feel like I'm cheating through getting cheap mods, if that makes sense. <laughs> but let's head on over to the store. Let's use it for today and let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of this. Should I just buy it? Let me know down below. In fact, I will be leaving a poll on this video at the top of the description whether or not we should buy... Okay, that bag of seeds really gotta go. Whether or not we should buy uh, the shallow cultivator. Or one of the two, one of the three shallow cultivators. So go ahead, leave your vote 
I will be looking at them for the next episode. But here it is, leased. $484, not too bad for a leasing. Is that car coming our way? Nope, thought it was. The animations of this are actually pretty good if you look at the, the chains down there, the way they move. I actually love that. That's great. <laughs> How they move with me steering. I love that. Alright, here we are at the field. Let's unfold this bad boy. And let's see how it is used. Now you could you could say that I could just have gotten a direct drill and then done it, but since our weeder is actually able to plant oil seed radish very quickly as well because of the working width, I definitely wanted to try it out. But unfortunately it is not able to do shallow cultivation but this thing certainly is <laughs> and at a pretty good working speed as well I like this thing I really do like this thing with this we're gonna have this field done in no time yep look at that and also notice how the texture is different from just normal cultivation I love the chains though on this. <laughs> I absolutely love the chains. Alright, well, let me cultivate this field, or shallow cultivate this field I should say, and I'll see you when I'm done. Be right back. This shallow cultivator has really, really been good. I absolutely love this thing. Now one thought that did cross my mind now that we put in oilseed radish, normally you cultivate it down in the ground, but since we will be using a direct drill to put in, let's say, barley or something, I wonder if we just direct drill it onto the oilseed radish, I guess, in real life anyway, I guess that's how that would work. But I do wonder whether or not the game is going to allow that, or say that that is going to work. I guess we will find out, but that is this machine used. Really good, so be sure to vote down below in the description at the top whether or not we should actually buy this thing. Because I would love to have it, I just don't know if it would be too cheating because of the price. Also I can't stop thinking about this one tractor managing this whole one farm <laughs> but let's go ahead let's return it boom returned nice now i could put in the oil seed radish now but i think i'm actually going to wait and just leave this field because then i can do it together with all the other fields because i think i'll be able to time it right so hopefully that is going to work just fine if I can, there we go, get out. So guys, really hope you enjoyed this episode. In the next one, it'll be time to harvest all of our oats. So this, this, and field 47 over there. It's going to be a very, very big harvest day. So yeah, we need to harvest it. Then we need to put in the oilseed radish as well. So we will either shallow cultivate it, or I will actually be buying a direct drill and do it that way. But I'll decide that next time. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.